some chicken stock. Okay, I'm gonna wing this. And I'll probably cut some of this fat off. I don't wanna cut it all off. You can see the nice marbling inside, so that's one of the reasons why we, we trim some off the top because we're already gonna have some inside. You can see that's about half an inch thick, so I want to get some of that off. Should get my fillet knife, huh? All right, and then we're just going to cut this into chunks. Starting to render in the bottom of the pan. And add a little bit of salt. We're going to add the mushrooms. We'll just cook for a minute. Let's add the uh, wine and deglaze the pan. will help us get the good bits off the bottom. I want to add a couple tablespoons of butter. Rich into that. Right. You can hear that that is simmering under there. We're just going to let that simmer for a second. And then we'll add some chicken stock. This is going to finish out the uh, braising liquid our sachet of herbs. <clears throat> so I'm putting fennel seed, black pepper, and bay leaf. That's what's in this uh, sachet. So when you're braising, you don't uh, typically want to go over the top of the protein or, or whatever it is that you're braising. You want to stay, you know, half to three quarters of, of the way up your uh, your protein. Uh, this might be a little much, but that's okay. Don't tell my instructors. All right, we're gonna put the lid on and throw it in the oven. Make sure you clean up after yourself. All right, what kind of vegetables do you want to go with the uh, braised pork? Broccoli? Cool, broccoli it is. I just happen to have some broccoli right here in the pan. <laughs> probably wondering why I have it in a bowl. Well, we're gonna go back over to my trusty bacon grease. I'm gonna 
almost out and I cannot find bacon anywhere. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, let's put a little salt on it. A little pepper. And then we'll toss this to kind of get the bacon grease all over. All right. Parchment. Parchment, sheet tray. Pour it out and we're gonna go in the oven. Just pulled this out of the oven, took about an hour to, in total. Now the next step is probably the most important. Now whether you like your sauce, you know, thin, coat the back of a spoon, or if you like it snotty, this is where this comes in and it's super important. So we are gonna take some of the liquid out and we're gonna thicken it in this bowl. All right, so you gotta get ready. We're gonna add, there's no real rule about how much xanthan gum that you add to this. It's about half a teaspoon. But the key to this is that you got to whisk it. Now this can be cold or this can be hot. You can see how it's thickening up. Now the more you put in, the snottier it's going to get. So if you like it snotty, put in a bunch. If you don't, just put in a little bit. You can see it's starting to turn like a gravy. I think that that's going to be about enough. And we're going to add this back to the pot and stir it in. So this way we don't have to use a roux, no, there's no flour. You could do this with egg yolks, but if you do it with egg yolks, then you have to temper the sauce in with the yolk. So you just put a little bit of sauce in with the yolk at a time. Now I'm not looking to get a super thick sauce with this. I just want to kind of thicken it up so it sticks to the pork. You stir it in. And as you can see, that sauce is starting to thicken up just from that little bit that we put in. So we got some broccoli. And here's our pork shoulder. Get a couple of uh, a couple carrots. Some mushrooms. A spoon to get a little more of the sauce. That's it. This is super easy. It's tender. You can see that it's just kind of falling apart. Wow. Yep, that is nice. Nice fat in there too. Don't be scared of the fat. All right, guys, let's give this a try. Mmm, melt in your mouth. Nice Merlot and butter and uh, pork fat flavor. Mushrooms are beautiful. This is a killer dish. Now my mouth is full. Hey, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on Easy Effing Keto.